Do you love smooth jazz? Of course you do. You have good taste in real music. Do you get annoyed hearing all this other crappy music out there? Do you ever wonder, hmm, how can I make any song smooth? In this video, I show you exactly how to do it. I've been asked this question so many times. I love music, but there's just so much bad stuff out there. How can I turn all this junk into something worth listening to? Well, here's how you do it. The first thing you gotta do is grab whatever garbage you wanna turn into real music. Now kids, this is called a CD. It was used a long time ago to listen to music. And much like this outdated musical relic, real jazz is stuck back in the 20th century. Oh! Okay, the first thing you gotta do is actually pop it in to take a listen to see how bad it is and to analyze the music to see what you need to fix it and make it actually good. Now this is what I think is a jazz CD. Um, well, the sign at the store, it used to say jazz, but now it's just a huge sign that says, please take these, they're taking up space. I don't know. All right, let's see. Okay, um, it says there's, there's a saxophonist on this recording. It says somebody's playing tenor sax, but it just sounds like somebody's brutally beating a whale, so I'm not really too sure. But I don't think it's a lost cause. I think we could definitely make this smooth. Now you might be thinking, how exactly are we gonna make this smooth? Are we gonna reharmonize it, reorchestrate it, change the key, the style, the tempo? Well, first thing you wanna do is you wanna come over to the keyboard. I think everybody, or any musician, should really have a fundamental knowledge of this instrument. It will really help you in composing and arranging. Now once you're ready, you first wanna turn off the keyboard, grab your CD, grab your sandpaper, and get to work. Go in multiple directions, multiple directions. Cross hatch, I think they call it. Mm. Don't forget the back. Don't forget the back. Mm. I think we're getting there. I think that feels pretty smooth. Let's go see. Okay, so let's take a listen and see how smooth we got it. Okay. Okay. Now, we're getting there. We're definitely, definitely closer. It definitely sounds a lot better, a lot smoother, but I think there's one more thing that can really take it over the top. All right, here's what we need. This. I think that's gonna do it. All right, let's see if that one did it. Woo! We did it! That's how you make it smooth. Woo! Now you might say, I wanna take something totally different and make it smooth. Can I do that? Absolutely but you're gonna need a different tool for that. Now you might be wondering why I'm here in the kitchen. Well, I'm wondering why you listen to anything besides Kenny G. Okay, so here we have Green Day's Dookie CD. Let's pop it in and see what we're working with, shall we? Do you have the time to listen to me whine? Oh. Oh God, oh God. It sounds just like its name. Sorry you had to listen to that. Ugh. 
Okay, as horrible as this was, it's still not a lost cause. All you need is to take your CD, take a plastic bag, drop it in. This is so the shards don't go flying everywhere when you're about to pulverize it. So what you want to do is close it up tight, take the CD as so, and break it up in little pieces. Ooh, like that. And then again, like that. All right, now, you don't need every single piece. So what you want to do is you want to take your food processor. Open that sucker up. Take some of these little pieces out. Take some of the smaller ones. If you have a smaller food processor, maybe a smaller shard will work better for you. You don't have to use the entire CD. We're just getting some of the elements of music from it into it. There we go. I think we're good. You want to close it up. You can get rid of that. You want to close this thing up. Let's get to work. Let's, let's hear how we're doing so far. Okay. Now you hear that, we're getting close, we're getting close, but I think we could use one more thing. That's right, milk. It's pretty smooth. I think it'll help really smooth things out. That's good. Close it back up. Shake it around, let's see what we got. Oh, that looks good, that looks good. All right, let's go try it. Okay, we're at the final step. Let's see what we made. Oh, it's glorious! Yes, it's so smooth! We did it! We did it! You're all done. You can make any song smooth. Now this Next part here is really for professionals only, especially kids. Do not try this at home. I need a stinky glass. <laughs> yeah, so for real, that last part do not try that. So I hope this video has answered all of your questions on how to make any song smooth. I believe in you, you can do it. All you need is drive, determination, and a power sander and a food processor. If you have any other smooth jazz questions for me, or if there are some specific videos that you wanna see, please let me know. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.